Here's another Prophecy News Watch update for April 2018. The American way of war of using overpowering industrial might and crushing firepower may have come to an end, according to a top Pentagon official. For the past two decades, the Chinese and Russians have been working to undermine that model. By spending billions to modernize their militaries and new technologies like AI faster than the United States, the two countries have changed the way the U.S. must approach future conflicts. Heavy pressure has been put on Mahmoud Abbas to accept President Trump's deal that would bring about a two-state solution to the Middle East. The leader of the Palestinians is currently under political, economic, and financial pressure from several allies, including Saudi Arabia, Egypt, and Jordan. A large majority of Europeans are becoming increasingly worried about the rapid population growth of Muslims. A recent survey asked 1,000 Europeans from 28 countries, how serious a threat to Europe is the rapid population growth of Muslims? Of the respondents, 70% said that they saw the threat as serious. New technology with the ability to create hyper-realistic fake videos has the potential to wreak havoc on the political landscape. Like something out of a 1990s sci-fi movie, the tech allows people's faces to be superimposed onto different bodies in other videos. Different technologies can also allow facial expressions to be altered. The combination of these emerging technologies means it's highly likely we will soon see videos of public figures saying and doing things that never happen. A Planned Parenthood affiliate in Pennsylvania has come under fire from both the left and the right after calling for a Disney princess who not only supports abortion, but who has had one. The Twitter message also calls for a transgender Disney princess, as well as Disney princesses portraying a union worker and an undocumented immigrant. Want to know more? Get the full story behind these headlines by signing up for a free Prophecy News Watch subscription right now at prophecynewswatch.com.